Hello, brothers and sisters. This is uh, Christina speaking. Today is uh, July 26, 2023, and I hope you are doing well. And so I have a message from the Lord. But before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. I am going to share with you a dream and a vision I had from the Lord a few days ago, and this is about the rapture and the tribulation. I am not here to give you the day or the hour, because nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone. And this is why the scripture tells us to watch, pray, and be ready every day. Understand that there is no need for us to focus on the day or the hour. Instead, we focus on Jesus Christ alone because he is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. John 14, verse 6. Amen. And so uh, the Lord wants us to understand that the way we see the timing is not the way he sees it. In order to understand how God sees the timing, he gave me scripture. Psalm 90 verse 4, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past and like a watch in the night. Brothers and sisters, stop worrying about the day or the hour. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ alone because he is the only one who is going to save you in coming days. Amen. Before I go through the message, I want to start with a word from the Lord, which is in Matthew chapter 3, verse 2. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Brothers and sisters, I hope you understand the importance of repentance. I pray you come to Jesus Christ right now. Humble yourself before him and repent all your sins before it is too late. Repentance means go and sin no more. Now I'm going to share with you the dream and the vision I had from the Lord on July 5th. This message from God is not to scare you brothers and sisters. The message is for you to prepare for what is coming. And so um, I had a dream in which I was taken to a large, luxurious Chinese food store. They were selling various food from different countries. In the store, there were two Chinese women who were working I got in, then I started selecting the food I wanted to buy. These two women were assisting me. After a few minutes, one of them stopped and looked at her watch, then turned to me and said, there is no more time left. We are going to close the store. While she was talking, I saw a clock before me. The clock was ticking very fast. At that time, I got panic, as if the store was going to close forever. I was afraid that I had not taken enough food. At that moment, I tried to get more food as I could then I went to pay. Before I got to the checkout, I saw a man standing beside the checkout. This man was the Chinese president. I told him that I needed to get something I had forgotten. He said to me, okay, I will wait for you. And so I went to see one of the two women for advice on a product. 
I wanted to buy while we were talking, the dream ended. And so I woke up and immediately after I had a vision of the rapture happening. This is the first time I had a vision of the rapture with the image. I could see everything that was happening. And so in this vision, I saw angels coming with the clouds of heaven. They came to the earth and took people. It happened like in a movie. I saw a beautiful image of the rapture. The angels held people in their arms. This happened very quickly. But what shocked me, only a few people were taken. The vision repeated four times. Now I'm going to share with you what the Lord said about this dream and the vision. I'm going to start with the vision of the rapture because the rapture will happen before the tribulation. And so the Lord said that we are in the timing of the rapture and the tribulation, brothers and sisters. When he said that, he gave me a scripture. Matthew 24, verse 21, it says, And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. This is scripture from the Lord relates to um, the vision of the rapture I had, brothers and sisters. The Lord said that the rapture will happen in four corners of the earth. And this is why the vision I had repeated four times. The Lord said that indeed only a few will be taken. Matthew 22 verse 14 many are called but few are chosen the Lord does not want you to worry brothers and sisters he said that we can all make the rapture he can take all of us but there is a condition We must be living in obedience. When he said that, he reminded me his word in John 14. In John 14, Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And so the Lord said that, those who are living in obedience will be taken in the rapture. And so, brothers and sisters, make a choice. If you are living in disobedience, Get out of the darkness and start living in obedience. The Lord gave me many scriptures about the rapture. Understand that the rapture is for the bride, Lamy's wife, and the five wise virgins described in Matthew 25. This is very important to understand. We are not the bride, we are 
the body of Christ. And so the rapture will be for the bride, Lamb's wife, and all the righteous, the five wise virgins. And so um, I'm going to leave all the scriptures the Lord gave me about the rapture in the description under the video. And so I hope you take time, read and study all these scriptures from the Lord himself. Pray and take everything to the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding. The Lord wants me to talk about a very important scripture, Luke 17, from verse 23 to 37. He wants you to pay attention to this scripture. The Lord wants you to remember the days of Noah, the days of Lot. He wants you to remember the day Lot came out of Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot his wife. Now I'm going to talk about the dream, which is about the tribulation, brothers and sisters. The Lord said that there is no more time left. He said that we are about to enter into seven year tribulation brothers and sisters. The Lord said that the Antichrist is coming. He said that the time is coming when we will not be able to buy or to sell without having taken the mark of the beast. When he said that, he gave me Revelation 13. This is about the beast system that is coming. I have already talked about the beast system. You can go and watch my video. And so um, the Lord said that many will go through the tribulation. And so he said that those who will go through the tribulation will need a strong faith like Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach in Daniel chapter 3 and in Daniel chapter 6. I hope you take time, brothers and sisters, and read Daniel chapter 3 and Daniel chapter 6. They will need a strong faith like Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach in Daniel chapter 3 and in Daniel chapter 6. He also gave me a few scriptures about the tribulation. Daniel chapter 7 and Daniel chapter 12. I'm going to um, read a scripture and this is a message from the Lord for all of us. Romans 13 from verse 11 to 13. And do this knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the days is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Brothers and sisters, read this scripture itself. Pray and seek the Lord for discernment and understanding. And also, you need 
to examine your heart. If you are living in darkness, get out of it. Come to Jesus Christ and repent before it is too late. Um, the Lord gave me another scripture, and this is for those who doubt that the rapture will happen before the tribulation. Revelation 14, from verse 6 to 11. You are going to understand that God will intervene by sending three angels to preach the gospel. These angels will tell people not to take the mark of the beast. Why God is going to send the angels to preach the gospel? Because the church of Christ will be gone. The bride and the five wise virgins and the Holy Spirit will be gone, brothers and sisters. I hope you understand this message. Now I'm going to talk about another thing that the Lord wants me to talk about. The Lord said that there is a division going on in his body. He said that there is a division going on in the body of Christ. The Lord said that many of you are waiting to see a black Jesus and others are expecting to see a white Jesus and others are expecting to see a Jewish Jesus. He said that your expectations are evil. He said that he is God, the King of the kings and the Savior of all mankind. He said that you are dealing with a haughty spirit, the pride and arrogance. The Lord wants you to repent, brothers and sisters. He said that if you want to understand how he looks like, he wants you to read Revelation chapter 1 from verse 9 to 8. This is a vision of how Jesus looks like that was given to John. And so, brothers and sisters, stop your evil expectations. Come to Jesus Christ and repent before it is too late. And so, I hope you share this message. Of course, we don't know how much time left, but all we know, we are in the timing of the rapture and the tribulation. Please share this video. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please turn to him right now. Accept and receive him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins. Get baptized of water and spirit. Being born again means you love God and you keep his commandments brothers and sisters. Hebrews 12 verse 14 says, pursue peace with all people and live a holy life. If you do these two things, 
you will see the face of the Lord God. Living a holy life does not mean that you are going to stop living. It does not mean that you are going to stop eating. It does not mean that you are going to stop going to see a doctor when you are sick. It means that you love God, you put him above all, you love your neighbor as yourself, and you keep God's commandments. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. God bless you.